All right, turn number 22 more time. Let's see how we're doing. Let's go. Messenger from Solaria. Hope you guys like plagues. Still not as bad as the beast throne. I guess maybe they claimed the throne of pestilence? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll deal with that. Here's the second half of our message. It ends. No one who bars our path will escape unscathed. All shall be free to cultivate and follow their own Tao once we have ascended. From Patriarch Heaven Defiance. Ah, I like the bit about facing your soul. Anyway, it's uh, a pretty direct reference to the kind of language used in the Zianzia novels by Ergen that we're referencing. All right, what happened? We got some evocation research. We're up to three. That's nice. We're getting there. Uh, we need that uh, hammer of celestial benevolence formation, which is to say the gifts from heaven spell. New profit for nuclear weapons. Forgot to rename this one. Very bad. Uh, we attacked some independence. I think this is just wolves. Yeah, just wolves. So nothing to see here. Probably. Yeah. Oh, whoop. Spoilers. And then we got attacked somewhere. Was it the province we wanted it to be? It was not the province we wanted it to be. Oh, well. We're going to use province. We can maybe see what they're, what spells they're using. Skeletal body, animate dead, animate dead. Animate dead, animate dead, animate dead, animate dead. Animate dead, animate dead. And short bows. Okay. Well, how many wizards actually are there here? One, using gems. Two, with death two, using gems. Were there more wizards? Is that all of them, really? Oh, we've got some banes. These guys um, are like Nazgul, almost. Um, they are pretty nasty. They're not that much of a threat by themselves, though. They're better if you give them a bunch of magic items because they're tough enough that once you give them a bunch of magic items, they can start messing people up. Um, of course, it's better to do that. There's a bigger one called a Bane Lord that you really want to use if you're going to do that much. Um, although these are more economical, so they can be good enough for raiding. Like if you give one of these a uh, Firebrand and a Vine Shield, he can probably take out 10 guys in a province defense by himself unless one of them with an axe hits him in the arm and his shield falls off and then he'll die. But, you know. They're pretty good, all right? We should be careful. Um, really, though, we're just going to kill everything with arrows. Uh, these guys don't have shields. They're high protection, but we can still set them on fire. And uh, should be all right. All right, so unexpected event in the Silver Woods. An entire village has been devoured by vinemen that are now spreading over the rest of the province. That's bad. I think a lot of forest-related events have happened in Silver Woods. I should probably search it for nature sites. Uh, an unexpected event has occurred in Ian Umeral. A dragon has been sighted flying across the land. This is interpreted as a bad omen. So we got one of these last month, too. I wonder if while the Emperor is sick, we're going to get one of these every month, and it's going to make awful events everywhere until we cure our Emperor. We should uh, probably get on that. There was a battle in the Silver Woods. Uh, this looks like it's those vine men. Let's see. Not just vine men. That is a vine ogre. And this is... A Woodhenge Druid. He doesn't have any gems or good paths, though, so... Uh, this is our invasion army, all nicely queued up. No one is casting spells that require gems. They are, however, shooting a lot of arrows. Uh, Vinemen are very resistant to arrows. 
they're pierce resistant. So, but even so, we killed them pretty quickly. Uh, did we lose anything there? Um, two footmen. Probably to arrow friendly fire. Not so bad though. All right. Um, worldwide event. Units affected by disease. Two units were cured from their disease. That's nice. So no one here is diseased. Let's just, uh, can I see on this screen who's diseased or not? Well, I don't see anyone on, I don't think I can on that screen. So we're just gonna click around real quick and look for diseases. Looks like whoever of our units got diseased were cured this turn and we just don't have to worry about that, which is super nice. Okay. Um, new info, skeleton flag. This is Solaria. They are definitely up here. Oh man, raptors and soulless. There are death mages probably to be recruited in this province as well, or at least like 50-50 chance. All right, so... Yeah, I don't want Solaria to have all these provinces. I don't know if I can contest that really right now, but we might try. All right, Shinyama took their army that was here. And some of it disappeared because this is less guys. So maybe some of it moved this way for some incomprehensible reason. Some dudes went up here and attacked these barbarians. Probably those were barbarians from an event. Um, and... They're, a bunch of their guys went down here. So we're cut off from income from this province now because we can't trace a path to it back to one of our forts, which is a pain. And they can probably take this province next turn and there's not a whole lot we can do to stop them. But we can just march straight on up towards their capital and there's really nothing they can do to stop us now. So we will eventually win that exchange. Uh, it looks like I ended up putting this commander in the wrong province somehow. I feel like I came back to this turn and looked carefully at commander movements and tweaked them like 10 times, but apparently I still got it wrong. Luckily it all worked out for us, it doesn't matter. Um, what I'm going to do I think is have these armies move here and then step onto the cap, but let's work backwards, which is to say let's start back in friendly territory and oh yeah, remember this big stack of stuff? and. Nuclear Monkey's God hanging out over here? Well, now there's a big stack of stuff and a god on what was Vanheim's farm island, where I think he was building a fort and a lab and uh, generally planning to set up shops, so that's nice. Um, as planned, Monkey is messing with Blood Nations, and I will hopefully move through the Northlands to help take out Vanheim in a little bit. Um... We'll see how that goes. I suspect Vanheim will do some counterattacks this turn or next turn using sailing from his capital or his fort here. We will see about that. Um, it'd be nice to have more scouts up here. It'd be nice to have more scouts in general. Still can't make scouts down here. Sent one scout up here. Can he investigate? He can. We're going to investigate the stories of a legendary swordsman. And we are going to search for magic sites with our god up here. And we need to get on that whole looking for herbs to cure our emperor thing. So we're going to send this imperial alchemist out to search. And next turn we'll have a second imperial alchemist that we will also send out to search for herbs. And hopefully we will search for herbs fast enough to keep our emperor from dying. I did waste a turn making a sweet magical sword. Uh, let's see, magic item treasury. Here's our sweet magical sword. It's unique to our nation. We are going to mail it to another planet. Uh, send messages, send magic item to man tower of Avalon, sword of the five elements. And in return, they are going to send us six death gems which will get us almost to the 10 we need to cast a spell with our god. All right, this province was stolen by spies. That's annoying, let's get it back. We have a commander here, we have an army here. They should be more than sufficient. 
let's uh, make sure that we actually set them up properly. Uh, did I make that one or two or something? Sure didn't. Oh, I made it zero. All right, and then these guys go here, these guys go here. Simple formations. Um, got another commander. He should come this way. What's our recruitment for next turn look like? Wizard, pile of dudes. Still got some resources. Let's make another archer. Cool, cool. Um, how we doing down here? Wizard, pile of dudes. Still got some res some resources and recruitment points. Let's make another few archers. How much leadership does this guy have left? We can grab another 15 guys. So he'll there'll be a few extra left over there. Can we get nice? We can make commanders here. We'll start making commanders there. Um. Up here, we have about 11 guys. We have some resources, but no recruitment points. So we could maybe start making something that is more, has a different ratio. These guys are 12 to nine. These guys are 20 to 18. It's not really worth it. Uh, yeah, we don't really have anything that's a lot higher resources than it is recruitment points, except maybe crossbows. Could make a few crossbows, they're good, but I don't think we'll need them for anything anytime soon, so we'll just not spend more money and keep recruiting small numbers of units here because it's good to have more guys. How are we doing up here? Maxing out our recruitment up here too. Um, might want to change that ratio of footmen to archers. Anyway, uh, this guy is here to take these guys and also as many of these wolves as he can, which is all of them. Nice. Uh, is, will these wolves and a few guys and maybe some wizards and a bunch of province defense be enough to keep these people from taking this province if they want and can i likewise defend this province up here with some guys from here probably not quite think about that a tiny bit more in a second all right let's see orienting and getting ready to make our decisions still got 317 gold we could spend that on upgrading this to a fortress this turn that would be good um could also spend it on province defense up here but that would be kind of annoying probably if they take one more province it won't be that big of a deal they'll probably turn around and come get us once we take their cap not too worried about it let's move this guy this way this guy searched here and didn't find anything it looks like we searched up here not much um let's move him up here he will hang out with a bunch of stuff from here, these guys, how far down can you move this turn? Nice, you can make it all the way down there. We're going to send you, you make it all the way down here? You can. All right, we're going to have this guy gallop the length of our empire. So that as this guy moves over here, he can start the process of moving up the hill, grabbing units from here, then from here, then from here. That should work out. Um, we can get another one of those. We could start getting Mages of Winter here. It's going to take four turns until we have a fortress, and then it'll take two. Um, we're still going to start getting a Mage of Winter there. Because we would like to have some of those. Um, this guy can make it to either here or here. Let's put him here. Let's not move any researchers this turn. All right, let's see. So we want evocation five. We get 264 per month. We're still at least three, probably four, or a little bit more months from gifts from heaven. So we don't really need to move up more wizards yet because there's not a lot that they can do. No, just research. Okay. Um, 
doing that, doing that, doing this. Um, all right, we are going to invade here. These guys are going to come too. We're going to How many guys was this actually? 107, and how much do most of these guys suck? Most of these guys are pretty okay, and I don't really want to put province defense up against a thing that has wizards and 35 banded archers and banes in it. So, we will bump up province defense here just a little bit in the hopes that we can cause... No, that's... This province defense will lose whether it's 5 or 9. So... could split this and attack here and here maybe. Do we have enough guys for that? Uh, let's just march straight to his capital and put it under siege. And that way... I'm gonna put this up to 15 province defense. It might be foolish, but we'll see. Can these guys get here? No. All right. Um, could send a wizard. Do you have anything great that you can cast yet? Elementals. Lightning bolt. Nothing that's gonna really oh freezing mist is actually pretty decent but i don't think he has anything that will really change the outcome of a whole battle so he's just gonna come with these guys all right let's see is it cold or hot around here right now it's cold all right let's go here um let's did those guys end up in a different province they didn't so we can add this little squad to this big one and we can put these guys yeah that's about right okay um can I think about battle strategy for a second let's see so our two options here are to make them come to us which will be It'll mean they have more time to summon skeletons and stuff. But that we will get a lot of flaming arrows hits on them as they approach. Or we could deploy all the way forward and alpha strike the heck out of them with arrows on the very first turn of the battle. Now, it's possible that we'll just be fighting a little bit of province defense here, and that this is this sort of thing would be overkill. Or we could run into province defense backed by their entire army. I think in either case, I'm going to play it cautiously and not try to land a bunch of burning arrows on flammable old man goblin wizards first round of the battle as good as it would be to get those hits in I guess we'll mix it up a little bit let's try try that put you down here okay so hold and fire archers hold and fire archers hold and fire archers hold and fire archers hold and fire closest hold and fire closest hold and fire archers um that's probably not the best. Let's just make these. Is that, does it, can I? Well, that works.
saturation fire should be good enough now that we have fire arrows and uh, if they all targeted the archers some of the melee units might actually get to us in good shape and start messing us up so hopefully this will work um, let's see what I want this guy to do so <clears throat> This isn't a bad spell. It's not the best one, but it might be the best spell that he has right now. Um, he could also just banish uh, zombies, but I think He'll get around to doing that anyway, once his script is over. So, Power of the Spheres is going to put him basically fatigue capped, unless we turn off conservative magic gem usage, in which case, well, he can only spend one on it anyway, so that doesn't make a difference. Power of the Spheres is going to fatigue him out, like, immediately, because it costs 100. So, he would be already super tired if we have him cast that first. Should probably have given him water gems and not pearls. I forgot how much fatigue that makes. Um, let's see. He can't cast Freezing Mist without first casting Power of the Spheres. So let's do Power of the Spheres. Uh, Freezing Mist, Freezing Mist, how much is this? Only 20, okay. Well, actually, Power of the Spheres, summon Earth Power for the Reinvig, because he's already going to be, yeah, and he'll be casting slowly, but it's still better than not having him casting at all. So we'll do a couple freezing mists, and then we'll let him do whatever he wants. Whatever he wants will probably be just spamming banishes on zombies, which would be good. Um, this guy, do we get something better for him to cast than Sulfur Haze? We did not. He's going to keep casting Sulfur Haze to the extent that he casts anything after Flaming Arrows, which is not a lot. And then, let's see. Against this style of army... Is Legions of Steel more important, or is... Strength of Giants more important? I think Legions of Steel is going to be much more important, because most of these guys aren't high enough protection enough for it to matter, and the few that are should rout by the time we kill everything else, and or be on fire from arrows, so... It is cold, so they won't be as on fire from arrows as we might hope. Um, heat and cold have uh, are a part of the calculation of how likely something is to catch on fire, and also of how likely it is to stay on fire. Um, but, yeah. We will prioritize Legions of Steel over Strength of Giants here. Legions of Steel, Legions of Steel, Strength of Giants. Actually, let's... They, they will probably cast Strength of Giants on their own eventually. Let's make sure everybody gets Legions of Steel so that not too many people are dying from short bow arrows while we kill them. Legions of Steel... Legions of Steel will script one Strength of Giants. Alright. Got a few guys over here. Oh, right, this province with the barbarians in it. Um, it's currently midwinter. There's only one cold in some of these provinces, but some of them have two or three. Let's see. Hmm. 
No, nowhere near enough. Alright, eventually we'll have spare troops in this area to retake this from Barbarians and to start going this way, but we don't have time to do that right now, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to keep sending scouts up here and start infiltrating the moons, though, so we can start seeing what's going on on other worlds. Uh, these guys are going to move back here. This, These scouts are going to keep spreading out into Vanheim's territory. And I believe we've given orders to every commander. Let's make sure... Let's see. Goals. We're starting to add a decent amount of research per turn. We have about 128 gold left. We'd like to spend 300 here. Uh, we could cancel some recruitment somewhere to pay for that, but we will wait one more month to get this going on up here. Um, and... Yeah, I think that should be everything we need to do. Um, hopefully what will happen is that they will attack here with a skeleton force and fail because we have pretty decent province defense here. They might take it, no big deal if they do. Um, we will then step onto their cap and also... Well... Hmm. Alright, they could make this difficult for us, but I think think we'll be all right. What does this province look like this turn? Just a big old pile of wolves. So the worst case scenario for this turn is that all of our wolves die and we inflict some very minor casualties on them. Let's see, we should script some spells for this guy. Um, does he have, where's he coming from? coming from down here so we can't give him gems um, I think probably the most annoying thing for this guy to do would be uh, to spam web a few times and then probably run away uh, we will cast, yeah, um, eagle eyes so that our aim is better, and then web, 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 retreat. And we'll put him all the way at the back. The wolves should take a while to die. We're going to tell these guys to hold and attack closest, and we're going to tell these guys to fire, to hold and fire and this guy to stay behind troops so if they do attack us here which i think they're more likely to attack us here because of what they can see this turn um they should lose uh well they should lose some stuff they might actually win because they have an army and we have 100 wolves but we'll see um lizard men are actually good so we're gonna bump this province up to about 15 16 defense I might as well, let's go all the way, we'll go all the way to 15 and save a little bit of money for next turn. All right, that is the turn. Uh, we could try to hire mercenaries, but we're not going to. Uh, recruitment is finally starting to come together and we will hopefully soon be sieging Shinyu on this capital. Once we've got their capital under siege, uh, most of their troops will turn back and try to fight us there. So we just need to hold a corridor for our reinforcements to move through and we'll be fine. That's why I put more defense here. Anyway, um, that's the turn. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is My Path to Ascension Begins here. See you next time. Forgot to buy any province defense down here. Definitely want some of that. To go with our misfortune and where was that other where did the dragon fly over today over here huh let's bump up the defense here and while we're wasting money well i guess let's just put one more point here for good measure no not there here okay there we go spent all of that money. Wouldn't want to have it lying around, corrupting, 
our innocent servants. Gotta keep the money moving, gotta give in to the flow and the path.